Today, our lesson is about comparing numbers. We shall use the symbol greater than, less than, and equal to. Let's use the hungry alligator method to help you remember which symbol to use in comparing numbers, greater than or less than symbol. Just remember, the hungry alligator would always want to eat more. This is the greater than symbol. It looks like the alligator's mouth opening to the left. And this is the less than symbol. It looks like the alligator's mouth opening to the right. Knowing that the hungry alligator wants to always eat more, its mouth shall face the set with more objects to eat. Have a look of the sets of fried chicken. The set at the right has four and the set at the left has two. Definitely, the hungry alligator would like four fried chickens because it has more. So we say that four is greater than two. How about this set of fried chickens? The set at the left has one and the set at the right has five. Definitely, the hungry alligator would like five fried chickens because it has more. So we say that one is less than five. How about sets with the same number of objects? We call them equal sets. Just like this set of fried chickens. At the left, there are three. And at the right, there are three as well. So they are equal sets. Equal sets have the same number of objects. So we say that three is equal to three. Now let's have a few drills. Compare numbers by using greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. Compare numbers seven and three. Seven is greater than three, right? Five and nine. Right, five is less than nine. Compare fifteen and fifteen. Correct, fifteen is equal to fifteen. Thirty eight and fifty. Thirty eight is less than fifty, right. 25 and 25. Yes, 25 is equal to 25. 84 and 17. 84 is greater than 17, right? Go get your book, kids. Answer the pages on comparing numbers. Don't forget the alligator method. Oh, 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 oh,